Hey, what's going on guys? It's been a long time till I made a free-to-play series and welcome to a free-to-play series episode 20 guys. On my name you can see I am the electric leader and how I got the electric leader is I just upgraded my camp from steam to electric period. Mayor or acting mayor of the camp in the electric period. So how do you get the electric leader is you have to be a mayor and you just have to upgrade your camp to electric period. Right now if you go to manage camp as you can see we have 72 members out of 90 and if we go to period info we are level 40 on prosperity. We have 95 management and as you can see electric period. This was included in the 28 March update and steam was the last period but since they added a new one now you can become a electric period. So yeah we unlock that. If you take a look at my levels I am gathered 40 crafting 41 combat 39 gonna hit level 9 house soon which of course I will make a video out of that a lot of people are thinking that I am not free to play anymore no I am completely free to play how I get those outfits is people just give me those outfits and pretty much that's how you get outfits they can be gifted outfits don't even make you pay to win so I'm not sure why are people calling me pay to win if you see a guy with an outfit, it doesn't actually mean that he's pay to win. How you can tell that I'm free to play, if you go to my benefits, as you can see, it's just red. If I paid money in the game, it would be the same color as daily, newbie, mall, ranks, and this vacay. As you can see, benefits is red, that means I have not spent money and I haven't topped up yet in the game. So yeah, anyways, I need 48 to upgrade my armorer cert. As you can see, gather requirement level 48. And once I get that, we will be making some new materials that we have here. Now, I have reached 35 crafting and I have upgraded my profession. This one, level 4 expand backpack. But I could not, I did not make a video on that and I'm sorry about that, guys. But yeah, it's been a while till I made a new video. And I think my next video is gonna be how to make new dollars or how to get them because you do burn a lot of new dollars by spending it on skills. What I want to show you guys in this video, um, nothing too much today. I did all my dailies. I was playing this in school legit. Just did all my dailies. But now I wanted to show you guys how do you farm really fast so you can save up your time. So there is armor that increases your logging and mining speed. So this is what you can do. You go to notice tab and check which armor has the best stats. So for example, this Vanguard is, you can see short range damage reduction, reduced long range damage. We don't want that. We're gonna look for mining speed and logging speed. As you can see, none of this armor has it. So let's go to buy. The notice tab means what armor is coming in a certain amount of time. So it hasn't been published yet. But once that time, you will be able to buy it. So if you click a like on this and if you go and buy, if you go on following, as you can see, it's not here. But if you go notice, category following, this one you liked will show up here. And after the time hits zero, it will be appearing on buy tab. I don't need that armor, so let's go to armor, advanced suit, and there is camel vanguard. So far, camel vanguard is 10k, so I'll just buy that. Now let's see, none of these armors have good stats as you can see, they're all 10k for example. If I scroll down, as you can see the same stats, all the same. Now this vanguard has increased mining speed 8.1%. As you can see these ones don't, this one doesn't, but this one does. But we don't want that, we want both logging and mining. So let's try to find that. If of course there's no armor like that, we will just wait till it gets published. Increase logging speed as you can see 7.2. Increase mining speed to 8.2. We still want to keep looking for the sweet, sweet Vanguard. So if I keep looking, they don't have the mining speed and logging speed I'm looking for. I want to get both of them. Increase logging speed 10.1. Normally you want to get mining speed because mining speed is slower than logging. And yeah, that's pretty much what it is. So I cannot find a single one with both logging and mining, but I can tell you that there is armor with logging and mining. See, nobody has, nobody selling that armor. So if you can't find that, you can then go to Battle Vanguard. That's of course worse, but you might get lucky and find the stat. This can see increased mining speed, but we just need two of those. Increase logging and mining on the same armor. That will make a huge boost in farming and that's what you use. And that's going to be your PVA armor. I use PVP armor and I use PVA armor for farming and for PVPing. So you have to have that armor, you know, ready up. So, you know, you have to have that armor ready. These ones are really overpriced. Um, 
I don't know why people put these prices up, but if you buy this, then you're a goofball. Don't buy it for 210k, man. Mob jacket, someone might have a mining speed, that's pretty cool. And the seller is hero, but no logging speed, so no, uh, increase mining speed again, increase mining speed again. We don't want that, bro. We don't want this. We need logging and mining at the same time. As you can see, increase logging speed, and this one's the same as that one. This one doesn't even have it. Increase mining speed. Uh, also, not good. I need logging speed, bro. I'm assuming nobody gets these lucky rolls with mining and logging, bro. It's really rare to find one also, guys. I'm telling you that. It's really rare to find armor with logging and mining speed. Because you know how long that would take to roll that. But you gotta be pretty lucky to actually roll that stat. So no one has that. People actually sell punk jackets too, and I think they have rolls. Oh, this one's 11.3. Logging speed, increased mining speed as you can see, but still so far no logging and mining on the same one. That's a bummer. Just make sure you check the market, try to find that logging and mining speed on the armor. And if you do find so, buy it, make sure the price isn't that much. Maybe if, if it's 20, 10k, that is worth it guys, but if you buy it above 40, I don't really know. That's kind of... It depends. If it's 15%, that's worth the price. But if it's like 8%, 8%, it's not worth the 40k gold. Anyways, when you buy your armor, you know, you equip it, blah, blah, blah. And if it has a mining and logging speed, you will be chopping trees so fast. And another good thing is, since we have hit the electric period, you can energize your armor for buffs. So let's say, Tex Brandon, this is the guy where you buy energizements for your armor. So as you can see here... And here, I have already bought everything I need, all the energizements I need, so I don't need to buy anything else from him. But yeah, if you're not electric period yet, you cannot get the energizements I have bought. So anyways, now, when you buy the energizements from that guy at the bank, you go to your repair bench and then click energize. Now, points are obtained by extracting your raw materials, so like this, as you can see, and you know, it just shows the points how many you can get by just experimenting right over here. So if you want to energize your mob jacket, for example, if you scroll down, this pioneer right over here, increase crit chance by 1.5% up to 5% when gathering wood, stone and hemp. So now, for example, let's energize this mob jacket as pioneer. So one time I upgrade and as you can see, that's what I get, 2%. So if I energize again, as you can see, 3% energize again, 3.8, energize again, 4.4, and last one, boom, it's 5%. So now we get a bonus of crit chance for 5% when gathering wood, stone, and him. Once again, guys, this energizement is obtained only from electric period. So it means you need to upgrade your camp to electric period. And another thing is, don't forget that you can use parrot fishes which is this, this is a parrotfish, greatly increases logging speed and logging crit, as you can see. Um, you, you can of course use three berries and one parrotfish, or you can use four parrotfishes. But let's see what we will get out of three berries and one parrotfish. If you use all blue items, the recipe will come out blue. And as you can see, if we click on it, grilled parrotfish. Now let's go check the stats. So increase logging speed 10% and that's pretty much it. And if you eat it, you will, you know, it will stack with your mob jacket. Now since I'm making this video just to show you guys, I'm probably gonna buy a Vanguard for logging speed. I want to stack the buffs up and see how fast it goes. Let's check at Fire Vanguard. Increase logging speed. Oh, by the way, the Fire Vanguard will always come out with logging and mining speed, which is kind of good. Well, let's see if there's any increased ones which have more than 3%. So increase mining speed 3-3. Three, three. See, that's not really what we need. We need higher than that. This guy has increased logging speed 14.5 and the rest aren't really that high. Well, that kind of sucks, but I really want the 14.5%, so I guess I'll just buy the armor for 14k gold. I'm gonna just like it and go on Trade City so I can spend, like, what, 1k gold less? Because I do care about gold, man. So today's Trade City is uh, Outrage Knights Tears. Let's go to Knights. I really hate how Trade Cities become Trade Cities and they never put a claiming bag. That's what pisses me off the most. But anyways, let's go buy the armor. This is the armor I'm buying, 14.5. Let's buy this and there we go, Fire Vanguard. We have bought this just for the buffs. Increased mining speed and logging speed. It would be better if it had mining and logging, but hey, whatever. I'm doing this just for the video, guys. So let's equip the mods. So I already did my special items at Fall Forest, so it means I don't need to chop trees. There's nothing. There's no tree special item in here. 
The only thing I have left is Farstar, but it's closed because I cannot enter it and it says not in scenario time. That's because I still need to wait 1 hour and 7 minutes to go to Farstar, which kinda sucks, dude. But anyways, I need to do special items in Mount Snow, but there's no special item log there, but I'm still gonna go there. I wanna see how fast is the buff. So let's go with Mount Snow. Let's do this. We have our armor equipped and we have our food right over here. So now let's try chopping a tree. Normally, this is the chopping speed without being full belly. But if let's now eat up, let's just try chopping. This is not really that bad, I can tell you. Not even that slow, man. Look how fast it chops and it's not even buffed. We can't even honey from this. Okay, I need that honey, boys. We need that honey. I like having honey, man, stocked up. That's pretty cool. Let's see how fast we mine. I think not that fast, but that 3% might help a little bit at least. Okay, mining is still the same. 3% doesn't really make a difference, but chopping with this armor, as you can see, it's pretty fast, man. So yeah, now let's just buff up, use this food, eating grilled parrotfish. And how we can get a parrotfish is go to Charlestown and just fish there. This is how fast we're chopping with the buff on the armor and with the food buff. You don't even need to use this special chopping, man. You just chop so fast. I'm competing against this guy. This guy is so slow, man. I'm faster than him. Damn, look at that speed. I'm a true lumberjack, boys. See, guys? It makes a huge difference. So I'm telling you guys, the armor does help a lot. Trust me. You will not regret it, guys. And yeah, basically, if you use the buff too, it will stack up and it will make your chopping even way faster. That's like 25% and you chop really fast. So if you're a logger, your profession will even help you more because I think loggers chop even faster than normal people without the logger profession. But yeah, let me finish the special items here and I'll catch you guys soon. We got obsidian. And if you take a look, we have two obsidians and only one of those. That means we need to get two more of those. And we got a black nightshade. Now we just need a tech bracelet. And that's pretty much it. We don't need anything else, boys. Well, that's pretty fast. I just got the special items in like, what, three minutes? Normally, I take like 20 minutes to get all the special items here, but I guess I'm lucky today. Plus 16 points for doomities and i just gotta get the 160 for this box pretty much now let me show you guys the food for the mining speed and logging speed as you can see grilled grass carp increases logging speed and all you need is just four fish um it's better to put four because i think it gives you the highest buff possible but you can of course put in berries like that and that will still give you the grilled carp and you will save three fish so there's a grilled grass carp and there's a grilled carp the grilled carp one is you know rare and green so it means it's better there's a catfish which increases digging speed now digging speed is the mining speed grilled tilapia increases digging speed and also the critical chance for that tilapia is obtained from fishing anywhere except for charlestown so you can fish anywhere but not charlestown you won't get this out of charlestown since charlestown is only sea fish this is not a sea fish. Grilled yellow croaker, grilled ribbon fish is obtained from Charlestown and that's a sea fish. Grilled grouper that increases ham gathering speed which is also obtained from Charlestown I think. Not sure on this one but I think it's Charlestown. Grilled brass is increased logging and digging speed so both of those and I really want to make this to make sure how much it increases. It increases both your skills that means you chop fast and you mine fast so no need to use other buffs. Because you know when I go to zone mainly I chop trees and I also mine so it will help me a lot dealing with the mining speed and all. So as you can see I made this Vras and yeah, grilled Vras, increased mining speed 10%, increased logging speed 10%. So I think there's many many more fishes, as you can see there is yeah, grilled turbot, this one's obtained from, I think this one's obtained from Charlestown turbot, but I'm so not sure where else, I don't think I've ever got this, I mean I did because I have it unlocked. I think it's obtained from Charlestown. You should guys try yourself though. Grilled Salmon is obtained from Charlestown too. Increase ham gathering speed and crit chance. That's pretty good. Increase logging speed and crit chance. Parrotfish, that is for sure obtained in Charlestown. And yeah, that's pretty much it about the fishes. Now another thing is, I forgot to mention guys, there are hats that increase your speed too. So for example, if you go to armor and if you go to hat, you can see there's baseball cap and those ones are also sold in the market and as you can see this one 
is sold for 8k and this one increases 5.2 logging speed and this one increases mining speed so if you combine food armor and hat you could get above 30 percent or 35 percent depending on how much the armor has the mining speed can go up for a hat and the logging speed too but yeah as you can see this hat has five percent mining speed if we go to the next page this one does not have it this one doesn't have it increase logging speed 5.2 mining speed four percent mining speed 3.6 five percent mining speed so the highest is five never seen above five you know hats are hats they have less buffs so yeah oh logging speed is almost 10 percent for this hat and that's pretty cool so yeah guys, you can also use hats, armor, and buffs. It will make you really fast on chopping. So yeah guys, it will double your speed. That's it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Appreciate for the support. This channel is literally rising up just because of the life after. And I'm for sure gonna be with you guys till you support me. And yeah. Once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day and peace out. <laughs>